Hi, this is 365801 and this is my book and manga haul video for the month of August 2024. So yeah, here it is. It's a massive haul again. I don't know what I... <laughs> there's I think 31 volumes. There there is some manga and there's a lot of prose here. Um there's a few things that I I'm really excited about and some things I got some really great bargains for some things I paid full price for and I think um I think one you can tell is pretty obviously um what it is if you know if you know you know we'll, we'll go through that one first uh, but yeah 31 volumes some manga some prose uh, some uh, quite a bit of damni and um yeah uh, now that I'm looking at it it's massive isn't it it's massive someone help me save me I I need to stop. <laughs> I think next month is going to have to be a no buy month because if I'm honest I've just bought something that I've had my eye on for a while so there's something else in the post coming too so yeah uh, there might be a haul video next month there might not just depends but I hope that there isn't actually I hope that I don't have anything to show um, in terms of any new buys, I hope the things I've already bought arrive, but I um I think I'm gonna have to just do another one. I have already done a no buy month this year, um, and and I think that was a good thing, and I think it's a good thing now. We've just we've got to acknowledge that this year has not been the best for me in terms of spending because I'm spending a lot more, but I love everything that I've got here, and I want everything that I got here, and I'm happy to have everything. And I want to read everything. And like I'm I'm happy with the things I've got. I'm excited to show you. But I'm also very much aware that this is uh, a problem now, I think. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm laughing. Um but yeah, no, I think a no buy month next month, September, I think is gonna have to be a no buy month. And I feel like I'm gonna have to make a, a serious change in terms of how I'm purchasing things and what I'm purchasing and and being a bit more mindful about it rather than just seeing a bargain and going for it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Any ideas? Any um? Any support networks? <laughs> Shopaholics. I mean, it's only BL. It's the only thing I buy. But this is a. Th I mean, let's be honest. This is a massive haul for me. <sighs> and actually stacking up like that, it does look pretty big. So. Uh, well, we'll get through it. Let's go through it. It's 31 volumes. Um, so yeah, let's let's show the goodies, shall we? We're going to start with this first title, which is Rainbow Rails Carry On. This is the Waterstones signed exclusive edition, which you could obviously see from the um, sprayed edges. The hardback copy has the same design. And the reason I really wanted this is because I have the next two in the series with the coloured hardback edges so it's a set <laughs> and I didn't have the first one and it was going for quite a lot when I first read the Carry On which is two years ago now um, I thought it was I thought it was really good and I really enjoyed it and um, I ended up seeing that this was on sale for around the price that I bought it for uh, which was £15.50 so that included shipping um, I got it for like £12 plus shipping which is pretty good and it was around this price and I didn't buy it and then like six months later when I was like I really want a copy um, I went looking for it and they were all like 50 quid <laughs> I was like I'm not paying 50 quid for this and by then I already had the other two copies and um, for the set and I was like damn it so I have uh, other copies of Carry On I think I have now four, five different versions of Carry On <laughs> I could read them in different versions, uh, paperback and hardback, all all the different covers. Um, I don't think I have all of them. I think there's still a few more that cover versions I don't have. But this one is the signed Waterstones uh, exclusive edition, which I'm not really that bothered about the signed, and I'm not really that bothered about um, the extra art and stuff like that. I just wanted the hardback cover to be the same, so that if I wanted to take the jackets off, and put them on a bookshelf they would look nice as a set <laughs> that's just that's the only reason I have this copy um but I because also I didn't need the extras of the other ones like I don't have the Waterstones exclusive editions of the other two so I don't have the sprayed edge 
of the other two. But this one you could only get with a sprayed edge. I don't think you can get it with the cover, but with the hardback cover, but without the sprayed edge. So it is what it is. But I didn't want to, and I did see um, a set of three with the sprayed edges for around £40. And I was just like, no, you already have them. <laughs> Slap that hand away. Um, so yeah, I did get this. It's £15.50. I don't need the other volumes, but I kind of like having them. Um, yeah, it is, it is what it is. This is one of those weird ones that I read this book once and I now have like four or five volumes of the same thing, which I, I have not read any of them because the volume that I actually read was the library copy. <laughs> I know, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand me either. But I'm very happy to have this. It made me very happy. And it was so well wrapped. It was so lovely. It came with ribbons and bookmark. And um, it just generally just made me feel really good. It was like wrapped like a present. It actually felt so nice to unwrap. So yeah, very happy about that. Um, so the, the seller did an amazing job. I'm very happy. I, which reminds me, I should go on to... I got it from eBay, so I should go on and, and give them five stars because oh, so good. Um, it made me feel very happy <laughs> unwrapping this. Um, and it does complete a collection, so I'm happy for that as well. And we'll go through the other pros that I got, um, and I think everything else has done me. Um, so this is How to Survive as a Villain by Yi 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 and um, <laughs> Nan Chan. Um, and I don't know anything about them, honestly. <laughs> I saw um, How to Survive as a Villain at the start of my 801 readathon. Someone had posted a reel and I was like, what is that? And I went looking for it and I didn't realise they were already out. So this is from Rose May, which is the Singaporean um, uh, publishing company that has started publishing in English um, Chinese Danme and um, other things as well um, but unfortunately because of the licensing and the global uh, uh, I don't know, publishing in industry um, you can only get them through proxy buyers and for a long time I didn't think there was one in the UK but it turns out Travelling Lamb has actually uh, started doing them as a proxy buyer. I had originally looked into getting someone else and it was like there was a Polish um, store or there was a Belgian or or um, I don't know, Danish, Dutch, Dutch um, buyer who, who was going to be doing them. So yeah, it was going to be a whole thing. And I was just like, I'm too tired. <laughs> but Travelling Man's in the UK and they had already got them as pre-orders. I had no idea. I had no idea about this. So when I saw that someone had posted it, I was like, I must go on the hunt for this. Because technically, I I think I'm going to get the, the like graphic novel version of How to Survive as a Villain through Monogatari. Uh, whenever that gets re re released. I think that might come in September or October. So, fingers crossed. Um, and uh, Technically, I've already paid for it, but technically I only put it into my haul videos when I actually have them. So, it's out of my account, the money, <laughs> but I will, I, will, I will have to count it for September. So, yeah, if it comes in September, if it comes in October, I'll have to count it in October. It is what it is. Anyway, this is Rose May's one and I have to say I did not realise I was getting the extras for How to Survive as a Villain. I was very excited about that. And I didn't really notice or know what I was getting for Nantan. I just had a sort of like brain freeze and just put them in my cart and was like, bye, bye, bye. And I didn't really care. Um, and I still don't. If there's part of me that does, but part of me really doesn't because look at Nantan. It is stunning, hardback, gorgeous. It feels like the same thing you would get if you were Chinese or, in, you know, in Taiwan or in any Asian country where they're putting effort and energy into something that's just going to look like not just a book, but like artwork and, and something that's crafted. It feels more luxurious than... I'm going to talk about them, but Seven Seas, um, in that way. And I know that Seven Seas are now producing a hardback of, is it Heaven Official's Blessing? And I'm just like, ugh, you know, Rosemary are doing it and they're doing it straight away. They're doing it. And so I do want the other things. So I may have already pre-ordered some stuff from there. There's still a couple of things that I haven't been able to get from Rosemary. I will keep an eye out. If they get uh, restocked, I will quite happily um, purchase them. Even though I'm saying, I've got to write it in. This is like, get it while you can kind of thing. So yeah, 
um, what I paid for them all is kind of pricey. Um, Nantan is £29.99, so £30. Ooh. And How to Survive as a Villain was £25.99, so £26. Um, but I'm, I'm like really happy because I got the, the pre-order stuff, even though I didn't pre-order um, all wrapped up. So I'm kind of like really excited about these whenever I do get around to unwrapping them. I'm really happy to have them. So yeah, this is a a weird one that I didn't expect to to I didn't budget for it in my monthly thing because well I don't but also <laughs> um I just wasn't expecting to come across them. So I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of excited that they exist and um I'll have to keep an eye out for other rosemary things and keep an eye on Traveling Man because that's the big thing from this is how happy I am that I was able to find some things on there because I've only looked once or twice and I didn't realise how easy it was going to be so I'm very happy to have um, actually found them. They're not in Scotland I think there's just like four. Is there four bricks and mortar stores in England and then they've got their online store and I didn't really think about them too much because they're not a store I would go to um, but yeah I think I will definitely be shopping from them in the future. Now the next ones to show are um, uh, the two volumes of Little Mushroom. This is um, Peach Flower House, I think. And this is Shissel, Shissels, um, translated by Jiao, I think. This uh, is a series that I have had, obviously, on my radar for a long time. It got recommended to me a couple of years ago by Jen, um, who uh, recommended it as one of the 12 and 12 recommendations. And I really wanted to get a copy. But it just seems so difficult. Sometimes they're, some of the Peach Flower House stuff gets um, like replenished in the online stores and sometimes you've got to wait months and I felt like I should just jump at the chance to get these when I saw them and I saw them for good prices. And the good price is <laughs> Little Mushroom Volume 1 for £13.32 and uh, volume two which is revelations for 13 pounds and 19 and this was from sci so i did end up getting a sci order um yeah <laughs> i i'm really excited about this because everyone loves it and now i think the, the graphic um novel manhwa man webcomic i don't know um people are starting to get into it as well so um, yeah, I just don't know very much about it other than there's a, there's a mushroom that's like a person and um, and then there's a guy who's trying to kill things like the mushroom and they end up meeting and I don't know, that's about all I know. <laughs> but I'm excited because everyone's excited about it so I do want to give it a read and I'm happy to have some of the Peach Flower House stuff and that's another one that I need to start uh, looking at. Um, getting more of. I just, I know that they're sometimes available and sometimes not and I would rather get them than miss out um, if they don't publish more. Um, so yeah, these were ones that I kind of was like, get them. It was this or something else and I still want this something else but they're both by Peach Flower House so I decided to go to the Mushroom because everyone's talking about it. It's like one that everyone has either read and loved or is planning on reading so I wanted to get my own copy and I'm happy that I finally have them because it did take a while. Now on to some Seven Seas Danny and I've got three here and I think I got them all from different different places. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Um, the first one on the side there is The Husky and His White Cat Shizun um, Volume 3. I think I got this from, I have to check my notes. Amazon, yes. Um, so I got it for nine pounds and twenty you can actually see well you can't see it actually the film but um there's two copies there one arrived and it was it was kind of like dinged in the corner not massively but it was like damaged so i just sent that feedback back to the to amazon and they were like yeah we'll send you a replacement just send us back <laughs> i was like oh okay then it was that easy so i just need to and it arrived like the next day so i've got a nice pristine copy now um for nine pounds twenty that's pretty good for each of these volumes. If you can get them for £10, that's pretty good. Um, but uh, I now need to just take the other one that's got the, the ding in the corner to the post office. I don't even need to wrap it. I just have to show them the, the little QR code. Isn't technology amazing? <laughs> it, do, it does make me feel a little bit bad though, because it's not a huge bit of damage, but it's 
Like, you know the difference? I don't know how do you guys feel. If I'm buying second hand and it comes with a bit of a dink in the corner, I'm like, oh, okay then, because I'm not buying it with the understanding that it's a new copy. Whereas if I'm buying something that's a new copy, I'm expecting it to come without all of these dinks. Um, and if it does, I kind of feel a bit disappointed. So I'm happy that I got another copy straight away. So yeah, I will add that to my Husky and White Cat Shizun uh, pile. I did read this, Urha, um, with fan translations. So it's not like a huge priority to read it straight away. Because um, I know how effed up it is already. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> but when I have the complete set, I will probably do a big reread. Uh, and I have already volumes 1 and 2. So I have volumes 1, 2 and 3. I'm actually collecting in order, which is crazy. I never do this. Um, which leads me on to Heaven Official's Blessing Volume 6. <laughs> which, um, where did I get this? Um, I got it from Slyfire. So yeah, this one was... £10.38, which is not a huge discount, but it's still better. You know, if I, like I say, if you can get any of these volumes for £10, you're doing well. Um, so that leaves just volume 7, which I almost got for like six, seven pounds during June, but it was my no-buy month. And I said no. And I'm still saying no. So unless, um, uh, unless it's a really good price, I'm not going to get it. So yeah, I have now volume 6. I have all of the other volumes except for 7, so... I just need to collect that one and then I will be able to do a big reread of the, the series which is once again one that I read uh, using fan translations because it was not not at the time when we had any of the licenses so I feel feel okay about that because <laughs> at that point in time we were we weren't, we weren't getting nothing and uh, now it's just Dan May a wall to wall uh, so yeah happy about that one and a good price now the other one is Thousand Autumns, this is volume 5, so the final volume, I have volume 1, and uh, now I have volume 5, so I don't have the ones in the middle. Um, and this one was pricey, because it is the special edition, and I was a little bit afraid that I would miss out. Now it, it is re recommended retail prices, like £27, um, so it does come with all the extras, but I didn't pay that, but I still paid quite a lot. Um, and the thing was, I would have got it from Sci-Fire. But they had volume 5, they just didn't have the special edition with all the extras. And I thought, well, I, I want the extras. I don't actually want the extras, I just want to have the special edition one. Um, it's no different from the other volume, it's just it comes with stuff. And I kind of feel like I should support Thousand Autumns because it's my baby. Because I I really enjoyed that when it <laughs> before it got licensed out. Of, so, I've, I, so all of these I've read. I've read all of these and I've enjoyed them. So I want to support them, get them, get the physical copies. Um, Thousand Autumns. I love it. I love the ending. It's great. But I did pay a little bit more. I got this from Books Please and it was £17.59. Um, but with Books Please, I don't know if there's any discount codes. So if you have a discount code for Books Please so I can get the free shipping, let me know because I, I can get for the sci fi order. I got um, a 5% discount, which basically means you get your free shipping. That's basically what the 5% discount code is. So if you've got a discount code for Books Please, let me know. I will use it in the future because sometimes, even though they're the same company, you can get some things on Sci-Fire that you can't get on Books Please, and you get some things in Books Please that you can't get on Sci-Fire. So um, even though they are technically the same company, and you can use one discount code for something, but I don't think you can use them for the other one. So yeah, let me know. Um, so I did spend £17.59, and if I have to divide the two things that I got at Books Please, I would have to add a pound to that, so it would have to be £18.59, uh, which is pricey. 20 quid? Wow. And I'm a bargain hunter, so I really like getting bargains. <laughs> but the other two were pretty good, so I feel like, it, it, you know, it swings and roundabouts. Plus, there's, if I pre-ordered this Thousand Autumns, you know I wouldn't have got a copy. Uh, because anything that I pre-order, I don't get. So I decided not to, and I'm, I have it now, so that's good. But yeah. A little bit on the pricier side with the extra stuff which I really should open to see what it was but eh, you know it'll, it'll keep for now until I get the other volumes. Now I think this is the last uh, pros that I have to show and that is yes no or maybe volume three. I purchased volume one years ago and I have not picked up the other ones. I don't really even know how many volumes there are of this. Uh, obviously there's a volume two that I need to get. <laughs> <laughs> where home is this is by Michi Ichiho and Lala Takemiya um 
I watched the animated version, it was great, really enjoyed it. And I read the first novel and I really enjoyed it. And for a long time we weren't getting anything. It was kind of like Seven Seas Foiré into uh, light novels for BL and it didn't quite catch on and um, not a lot of people read it and then they didn't they didn't get very popular and then Dan May came along and just kind of swept the market so I'm happy that we were able to get these and I will keep an eye out for volume two so I can um, get the rest of it. Um, I did get this for £8.37 which is a pretty good deal for this I think. Um, I kind of went onto Amazon accidentally and found lots of bargains so I did end up getting a lot of things from Amazon that I wasn't planning on. I don't get a lot of things from Amazon because they don't often tell me about the deals and their search engine is horrendous. It used to be perfect and then they've changed it and now it's horrendous. It's absolutely useless. <laughs> Terrible for finding things that you might want to buy even if you're searching for them. Um, but yeah, this I kind of accidentally come across and it, when I was already in the middle of buying things. So yeah, I did get this just added to the cart. Um, but yeah, I'll probably go on the shelf and I'll wait until I get volume two. So on to um, web comics that are now in print. I guess that's probably a good genre to go with. Uh, this is On or Off by A1 and this is volumes one through four. I have read volumes one and two digitally. I have them um, through Tokipop. Uh, I got them for really good deals. And then I, I have not read <laughs> number three and four. So I'm really excited. I really enjoyed volumes one and two digitally. I had a great time. I really enjoyed it, it was, it was a bit nuts. Uh, but I liked all the like side characters and uh, what they get up to. So I'm hoping that the rest of the series is just as good. I know that there's like another spin-off Something like, is it work life? Work work balance? Something like that. It's something about work. Um, and their relationship that carries on. So yeah, um, I got this from eBay. Uh, it was being like sold for 40 or something like that, 45, something like that. And um, the seller offered it for 35. So I can't remember if that included shipping, but I looked on my thing and it, it must include it. So £8.75 each? I don't know, did I have to pay £5 shipping? I don't, but I'm putting down £8.75 which sounds good. <laughs> That's a pretty good price actually because these are usually like £16. £16 I think each. Um, They are a little bit pricey these ones because they're large trim size and all in colour and um, that's generally, yeah, that's going to cost a bit more. So yeah, these are like £17, £16, maybe £15 if you're lucky. Um, pounds each. Uh, so yeah, I'm very happy with them and they're in excellent condition. They are in excellent. So this is the difference between buying something from Amazon and getting it dinged uh, versus buying something second hand and it actually coming in perfect condition. You're like, wow, this, this is brand new condition. I was not expecting that and being overjoyed. So yeah, um, very happy about this. This was, I think, one of the first things I, I got this month. <laughs> so, <laughs> the seal was broken. Um, yeah, happy about this and I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to reading this. Now another thing that I got from eBay was Obnoxious Hero Kun, The Complete Collection by Amandur, which is a chonky boy. This is so thick. This is massive. And I think I got it for, um, I think it was like £8 plus shipping, so it's £11.69, which is a really good price because this is like 20, 25, 26 quid. Um, if I'm buying it new and it is really thick this is the whole complete story <laughs> and I have no idea what the story is I don't even know if it's going to be good but I did see it ages ago and I was like oh that looks good and then I tried to buy it on Amazon no they did not have it at the time so I think it's because it's so thick and because it's so um, niche even within the BL I think people aren't necessarily going for it um, and because of <laughs> because it's so thick <laughs> It's kind of pricey um, and so it's a bigger investment for people um, if you're buying it brand new. So yeah, if you can get a good price, and I think this is a good price, in terms of pages per uh, cost, this is like a really good deal. So yeah, £11.69 is, is pretty good for something as thick as this, even if I don't know what it's about, just in terms of um, the size. <laughs> cost ratio. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't know terribly much about it because I haven't heard too many people talk about this, so I don't actually know anything about it. Um, yeah, 
I don't, I honestly don't. <laughs> I just was really excited when I saw the price. So yeah, this is another of those impulse buys that I feel like I'm happy because it's now in my collection and I was planning on getting it at some point and um, I was a little concerned that it would go out of print because it is kind of big and chunky and it is something that you could probably read online if it's, I think, a webcomic that's now printed. And I don't think it's in colour, I think it's just black and white, so I don't know. <laughs> If you read it, let me know. Was it any good? Now the last of the web comics turned published comics, I guess, <laughs> is the Dangerous Convenience Store, Volume Three by Nine Four Five. Um, this is obviously it's fairly new actually, so I was really surprised to get it. This is from Amazon, and this was also one of those ones that was like a surprise sale. And I'm glad I got it when I did because like the next day I went on to check. About something else and I saw that the price had gone boom right back up again and I think these are around 20 something like that um, so yeah they're a lot more pricey and I got it for 9.99 so 10 pounds so about the same kind of than me kind of price but these are I think in color um, yeah I don't know I have read some of it though so I already know the the general story um, there's like a guy who's uh, is it Achisi? Achisi? Um, he is kind of a scary guy and then there's a cutie patootie who works at a convenience store in a scary area and he um, kind of has a crush on him so they end up in a relationship. It's cute. Um, as far as I know from what I remember. But yeah, um, I do not have volume one or two though so I will need to pick them up as and when. Um, but yeah, for some reason these ones are not on my radar as much. Um, but I think I'm gonna have to uh, just add it to the list, to the shopping list. I know a lot of people have been enjoying them. Um, but yeah, these ones, because they're web comics, they are a little bit pricier. So uh, to get it for £10 is pretty good. And I was happy to be able to get it. And yeah, especially because the price went straight up again. So I'll be keeping an eye out for the other volumes too. So on to the manga. And I think uh, I'm just gonna <laughs> group them by publisher. Um, so this is the stuff that I got from the Seven Seas, so there's five volumes this month from Seven Seas. Three of them, uh, Love Me For Who I Am, are uh, second hand. So I got these uh, from eBay, I think it was Brit Books, and I actually ordered four of the volumes. I was really excited because they were quite good prices. So I got volume uh, two, three, four and five, but three hasn't arrived. So I've contacted them now and they're like, gonna deal with it maybe I don't know if I'll get a refund with I mean it's pretty cheap so they might just refund me uh, but I would actually prefer the book because <laughs> it was so cheap um, and I got it for a good deal so yeah I probably could have got volume 2 cheaper and I definitely know I could have it but because they were all from Brit, Brit books I just decided to get them all so they could get delivered and then of course I didn't get them all so <laughs> never mind uh, volume 2 I got for £6.09 and then all the others were £3.49 each which are really good prices for them. Um, I know that they're usually around £10 each and that's even with a discount. So yeah, I was happy to get them for that price. I'm even happy, like just as it is, to get £3.49 for volume four and five. Um, so yeah, I will get volumes one and three. These will be added to my LGBT uh, reading pile for next June because that's when I tend to enjoy reading actual LGBT works rather than just reading BL all the time. <laughs> I don't need to have romance. Sometimes I need to cry about people's struggles in life. That's when I, that's June's the time for that. Um, and then feel uplifted about them having positive outcomes. That's what I want. That's what I want for my June reading. So yeah, I am going to be um, trying to get volumes one and maybe volume three so that I can uh, read this next June along with some other things that I've been picking up as and when. Uh, the other two were ones that I got from Amazon because they ended up being uh, reduced. I think Delinquent Daddy Tender Teacher Volume 4 was kind of the catalyst for buying things I didn't expect to buy uh, because it was £6.64 which is a really good price and it's Volume 4 which is the latest volume I think. Um, so I have Volume 1 and I don't have Volume 2 and 3. So they all need to be purchased at some point. It's a cute story about an elementary school teacher who looks after 
um, a boy in his class and meets his father and turns out that he's his uh, childhood friend and crush from when he was at school and um, that he's a single dad and struggling and so it's found family and it's cute and it's all the things that I love uh, so I did enjoy volume one um, hopefully I'll be able to get volume two and three at some point but hopefully not next month because that's obviously a, a book bank ban for me um, but yeah at some point I will pick up the rest and enjoy this I, I know that a lot of people like it because it's got cutesy feels and sometimes that's just what you want um, the other one there is Nagisa Furia's Only the Stars Know. Now, I don't know, is this just a one-shot? I think it is. Um, I know Nagisa Furia does have some one-shots. Um, she's got one out that I haven't picked up, Number Call, but I read it digitally um, as part of my hobbies and jigsawing and stuff like that. So uh, this one I got for £7.42. Still a pretty good price, I think, in the sixes and the sevens to get any of these volumes. So... Um, and this one is the latest one, so it's fairly newly re released. It's definitely a 2024 release, so um, yeah, getting them for that price is pretty good. So happy about this. So yeah, some more Seven Seas hopefully will fit in my drawers. <laughs> Just tidied up and put stuff away. Um, uh, I'm running out of space. That's another reason to have a no buying uh, month. So yeah, these are the five volumes that should have been six that I got from Seven Seas this month. Now on to Yen Press, and I picked up four volumes this month from Yen Press, which is a lot more than usual. <laughs> um, I think in terms of um, uh, the prices and stuff, I think I got some good deals. Um, and I did get it from all over the place. Uh, so volume five from I Cannot Reach You by Nika. I have volume three, four, five, and one, so I need volume two. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, but I did get this for a uh, good price, £6.72. And yen price is a little bit pricey, so yeah, I'm kind of happy that I got that for that price. Um, from Amazon as well, of all places. <laughs> but I think the reason Amazon had that price uh, reduced is because Black Whales had re reduced. And I think they had volume two for about the same price, and I just didn't buy it. And I don't. if I go back now, it's probably... probably um, Probably gone. Probably gone back up to I don't know, but I also don't want to. I'm fine with waiting. I'll get it some other time. I see, and then I'll have non buyer's remorse. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> the other three I got um, one from eBay. The My Oh My Atamikun uh, by Asa Tanuma. You can barely see it's just poking out. Uh, it's a fairly new one as well. Um, I got that for seven pounds seventy. Um, I got another thing from the same seller, which I'll show in a second. Um, so yeah, it was like uh, two pound. It was they were different prices, but they I think they were like five pounds plus two seventy for the shipping, and I was like, that's great, seven seventy for a fairly new title. It's volume one, so it's a draft new series, so I can read it. That's that's fine. Uh, in fact, those three there are all volume ones, which means I can read them, which is great. Uh, the other two, though, I got from sci Fire as part of my sci Fire order. And, um, yeah, I got um, he The Summer Hikaru Died and Minato's Laundromat. Um, both of them, obviously, volume ones. I've read The Summer Hikaru Died last summer uh, digitally, so I know what's happening in this story. I already know, but it's about a boy who uh, whose friend has somewhat changed and he knows that there's something different about him, something maybe alien or supernatural or something. And yet because of his feelings for him, he accepts him for who he is. It's kind of like BL horror and uh, I'm here for it. So <laughs> I really enjoyed the first volume. So um, I'm happy to have finally started actually collecting it physically. And I know that I think it's like volume four or five. Uh, so yeah, there's a few volumes. I have no idea what, where the story goes, but I'm intrigued and I'm excited to get the rest of the volumes as and when. Now I did get this one for £7.44 from Sci-Fire. And um, Minato's Laundromat, I don't know anything about it. This is uh, Sawa, Kanzume and uh, Yuzu Tsubaki. Um, 
not many people say great things about it. I haven't heard anyone raving about it. Like the complete opposite of the summer Hikaru died. Like everyone loves that. But Minato's, Minato's Laundromat, I'm not too sure anyone said anything. And I know there's like two or three volumes out already. Um, I picked this one up for £7.44 as well. So, um, although to be fair, my whole sci fi order, I did get the 5% discount and then, of course, the, the shipping on. So, the whole order, I get like 60p off. <laughs> it's just not a huge discount overall. So, um, yeah, I will need to take a little bit of a discount off all these prices, but not too much. But yeah, this is my yen press for the month. It's a lot more than usual because I don't buy a lot of yen press because they're generally pretty pricey. So, £7 or £6. Um, it's, it's pretty good for these volumes. They, for, they're usually slimmer as well, and so you don't really feel like you're getting your money's worth. So around six, seven pounds is a pretty good price for any yen price volume, I think. Now hopefully I'll get this filmed before the light starts to go. But yeah, these are the next three that I've picked up. And they are all from, uh, Tokyo Pop, the Love Love range. Although, no, technically the two of them are the Love Loves. One of them is Love Love, but before it was an official imprint, I think. So yeah, um, Eiji Nagisa Jealousy Blinds Love. It was the other one that I picked up from that eBay, eBay seller. Um, so I also got this for £7.70. And it's also a fairly new one that just got released, I think, a month or two ago. So they've obviously had a read and it's not for them. <laughs> That's fine. But £7.70 is a pretty good price for a Tokyo Pop volume. Uh, they're usually around double that, around £14, something like that. Um, for what you're getting, I'm not really... I feel like Tokyo Pop is now veering onto the June manga side of things, where they will publish uh, one-shot volumes of a lot of things. So you, you end up getting a lot of one-shots, which is fine if they're good, but you never know what you're going to get. Uh, so it's kind of like hit and miss, which is probably why this person bought the volume, read it and was like, nah and moved it along. So yeah, I'm happy to take <laughs> other people's sloppy seconds when it comes to uh, new titles if they're gonna end up being in my collection anyway. Um, the Snow Fairy one I was very happy to get. Now the reason I got Snow Fairy uh, by Tomo Serizawa, who is also the magica of Scarlet Secret, um, is because I was looking for Scarlet Secret <laughs> and I went on eBay and found um, Snow Fairy. Uh, I got this for £7 and pence. So uh, the same person, I think, from as the obnoxious hero Kun, I think I got them. <laughs> so that's how I ended up. I was like, wow, I'll take that. So uh, yeah, £7 and 10 is a really good price for this. The cheapest I've seen it previously was £8 something from Book Depository. Yeah, back then I was going to I was gonna buy it and I didn't. And I was like, oh, I should have got it. Um, what a shame. <laughs> But yeah, um, now that I've got it, I'm really happy. Everyone says this is a great volume. Like, this is part of a 12 and 12. Like, someone has recommended this to me. So I'm really happy I have it now. Um, because I, I wanted to get it at some point, but I didn't really go out my way to get it. I don't go out my way to get a lot of Tokyo Pop, to be honest. Um, but this one, I was like, oh, back in the back of my mind, I knew I needed to get it for my 12 and 12. At some point, I wanted to read it. So yeah, I'm really happy to have it. It's going to be a good one, I think. Uh, and I'm looking forward to it. Everyone raves about it. They all say, say that it's really good. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, the other one there is obviously Scarlet Secret, which is available on Putekia, although by the time this video goes up, it will now no longer be available on Putekia because the license of this has transferred over to another Japanese publisher, which means that the English licenses that both Manga Planet and Tokyo Pop had now no longer is active. So Futekia will be removing it from their library and uh, Tokyo Pop will now no longer be printing this. So when I heard this news, I was like, okay, I better get this. This is the, this is the go time for the people who are collectors because in a few months time, this is gonna be going for a lot more on um, eBay and secondhand sites with scalping prices because it's like hey you want this this is out of print now and I just don't like that so I was like I'll just buy it as it's available now so this is your 
um, PSA if you haven't already heard one. I did, someone else. In fact, I saw two people on Instagram, I think, posting about this. So I was like, thank you very much for that information. I will take that on board. And I went and I got this from um, Books, Please, because it wasn't available in other places. So yeah, have a wee look around. And I did end up spending more than I would like to. It's £9.57. Of course, if I add that extra pound on for shipping, £10.57. So, yeah, kind of pricey for me. I very rarely would pay £10 for a volume, as you know. But I don't want to have to pay £20 for this 10, you know, 10 years down the line. Um, and I'm like, oh, I really should have got it when I had the chance. Yeah. So, um, I'm fine with that. I mean, maybe in 10 years time, it's going to be like £4. <laughs> And everyone's going to be moaning about Tokyo Pop's terrible um, churning out of F1 shots <laughs> like we do with Jine Manga. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what the future holds? But yeah, I thought I would better get it while I could. Uh, so yeah, I have it now in the collection and I have three volumes I can read. So happy about that. So I don't don't always enjoy everything from Tokyo Pop, but I enjoy the experience of, of um, trying them. That's what I like about it. So yeah, I'm, I'm also glad that I've got more, but I'm a little disappointed because there's no more room in that drawer. I don't know what to do other than purchase bookshelves. It's going to have to happen. So yeah, this is, this is a bit of a headache now. Right, we are in the home stretch, <laughs> I promise. Um, just three more. Like I, I, yeah, this is what happens when you buy too many things. Too many things. Um, I get fatigued even just filming this. <laughs> too many um and i i totally forgot about engage it's down it was downstairs i brought everything up the stairs and i was like ready to film la 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 and i was like hold on um so engage by mina Duki yu uh volume one i picked up um was it from amazon i need to check my yes um i got it for 6.99 which is a pretty good price it's not fantastic but it's pretty good um and me and katie have decided for august to read um some minaduki you uh so we did a re well i'm doing a reread of sayonara game and change world and then i haven't read any of love nest so i'm going to read my love nest second love nest and love nest second and then i might just start engage <laughs> and i know volume two has already come out so i am one behind but never mind um because i'm kind of enjoying it so far um, I'm on Love Nest, volume one at the moment. That's how I'm getting on. Um, but yeah, six ninety nine for Engage. So I don't know anything about it other than it's part of Minute Use Universe. Uh, is this the one that owns the bar? I like literally have just started <laughs> Love Nest. So is he the one who, who has the apartments in the bar and stuff? Is that? Yeah, it looks like it is. And he just like flew off. Anyway, uh, Finder, Mirage, volume 13. I now am completely up to date. This is a fairly new um, release as well. I'm kind of happy about it. Um, where I got this one from Travelling Man uh, because I wasn't sure how much shipping was going to be. Turns out shipping's not really that expensive and you can choose how much shipping you want to pay. So I didn't need to get this, but I also was able to get a discount code. So I got a wee like 5% discount or something. So I paid £6.84, which is really good for a finder volume because they're usually kind of pricey, which is why I was so impressed with Travel. I was like, oh, hold on, finder, finder volume 11 and 12, I took forever to get because I couldn't get them for good prices. And then I finally found somewhere. And then two seconds later, volume 13, and I get it for like six pounds. That's shocking. <laughs> I'm shocked. I haven't read it yet, so I do need to do a big like maybe a big reread of Finder from the beginning, um, all the way because it's been a while. It is kind of repetitive. It's always the same things over and over again. Um, but that's kind of the joy of it. <laughs> so I don't feel like I des desperately need to read it, but I do want to. Um, yeah. So Mirage, and um, yeah, I mean. He's a great, he's a great semi, isn't he? He's like a proper semi. <laughs> the, the OG semi. I do like Ayano Yamane's work though, so. Um, a bit of yaoi hands on the cover. Love it. <laughs> and the last one there is Shingeki Nakamura's The, Wor the World's Greatest First Love, The Case of Ono de Ritz, uh, volume 17. Um, and I think I got that from Amazon as well. I need to check, didn't I? 
I did and I got this this is a, this was a great price five pounds 37 silks plastic I just recently read 13 14 and fifth no 15 <laughs> 14 15 and 16 um and so I have I was like oh 17's out I thought I was caught up and I was like no 17 still to come so um I will be reading this um, fairly soon I think to keep me up to date um it's just it's just a comfort read Nakamura Shingeku I feel like she's grown up with me I feel like we've grown up together um because she's around my age <laughs> she's maybe a little older she's maybe a little older than me but I feel like um uh, like a kindred spirit we're of the same generation uh, so I'm really happy that um, I was able to get volume 17 and I'm up to date because it's usually it usually comes out around my birthday I don't know if it did this year I think it came out a bit earlier but happy to have them so yeah lots of sublimes to add although I am I'm not 100% caught up I'll need to make a list of the ones but I don't have too many to get for sublime so I feel pretty good about that and this last one is a Kodansha slash Vertical. I never know which one to call it now because Vertical's just part of Kodansha and I don't know if, if I should continue. What do you guys think? This is actually a genuine serious question. I'd love to know in the comments down below. What do you think? Is Kodansha separate from Vertical? Because it's a different symbol, um, but Kodansha Comics versus Kodansha USA you know that kind of thing like I, I need to know how I'm organizing stuff in my like spreadsheets and things what am I putting this down as is this a Kodansha title or is this a vertical title uh, Super Morning Star volume 4 by Kara Almia I read volume 1 um, because I got a copy through Net Galley and I enjoyed it and this is the final volume, so I'm really happy about it. I got this for um, $6.99, which is a pretty good price because these are usually a bit pricier. Um, I did also order, I think volume 2 was also around the same price. Um, but it's not arrived and it probably won't arrive until October or ever because it's Amazon. <laughs> we shall see. Um, so yeah, I, I need to actually buy volume 1 and 3 too. <laughs> Uh, so we'll see about this. So this is just going to sit in my collection until I have the other volumes. Uh, but it's good to know because it's just a four volume series and I have the final one. Um, so it's nice to know that it's something. sometimes you like Finder is ongoing, World's Greatest First Love is ongoing, even the Minaduki U universe, you know, who knows? There's Is there Engage? Is there something after Engage? Uh, sometimes things just carry on and that's great and you enjoy being able to revisit the world with the characters and feel a sense of coziness with that. Whereas sometimes it's nice to have a complete series where you're like, here's the story in its completion and you get that sense of ah, satisfaction um, at the end of it. So yeah, which do you prefer? Long running series or or something that is finite? Um, I think there are different kinds of reading experiences. Um, yeah, it's a kind of thing to think about when it comes to BL. But yeah, this is the last one. Thank goodness this, this video is going to be long. So uh, this is everything that I've got for the month of August. It's, whew, it's quite a lot, isn't it? Looking at it like that. <laughs> whew, and just to have, just even um, trying to organise it all, I'm puffed. I'm puffed. <laughs> Exhausted. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a month off from buying stuff. I need to, I think so. This is ridiculous. Thirty one volumes. I mean, if you think about it, my goal was like seven maximum. So that's what twenty one is three twenty eight. Four months. Four months. Four to five months worth of stuff in one haul for me, because that's that's like I don't want to be <laughs> buying all this stuff. I don't want to be buying so much and the thing is that when you look at it there's like one YA novel there are one two three four five six seven seven dangmes one Japanese light novel and then you've got what four five six six volumes of web comics well the obnoxious hero kun is like a complete collection that's pretty chunky right there um so I think that's the difference. There's now, even in in the manga, I have like an LGBT one, not necessarily 
boys love. So in terms of the boys love that I got, this is me just justifying myself, I've got my manga there but then I also have the Danme and then the light novel and then the web comics and the YA male male romance. You know it's like um, it's not just, this is why it's a book and manga haul rather than just my, my BL manga. But in terms of everything that I got, I, I'm really excited about it. It's great. It's really nice. But I really need to take a month off. <laughs> so if I don't have a haul next month, don't, don't worry about it. It's probably a good thing. Um, but yeah, the, I, like I mentioned earlier, I did purchase something. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. And it was kind of pricey. So I don't want to spend anything. It's like I literally want that to be the only thing that I have um, either next month or the month after because it's um, it's going to be good to have in my collection and I feel good about it. But at the same time, it was kind of pricey. But I woke up this morning with an eBay seller going, hey, you've been following this for a long time. Do you want a discount to buy it? And I was like, yes, please. <laughs> so I got it. Um, but yeah, this is a good a lot of stuff and I think it's good to have the different publishers that are publishing. I do think that they're publishing quite a lot now and I wonder if if someone is keeping a spreadsheet of <laughs> should I get should I get a spreadsheet? Should I start it? I really feel like I need to be more organized and I think uh, spreadsheets are a good way to do that. So which reminds me I need to update my spreadsheet now with all of these new purchases um I'm buying. So yeah. I'm happy to have a couple of these, especially Little Mushroom and Snow Fairy because they were 12 and 12 recommendations. I think even he, the Summer Hikaru died might be a, uh, a recommendation, so having the physical of that would count as well. Um, but yeah, having pretty much all of this makes me happy, so I don't really know what else to say. Have you read any of these? What do you think of the purchases this month? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you've read, if you've read, if you've watched the end of this video, thank you so much because this is going to be like another long one. I haven't done a really long chatty one for a while so I hope you watched on double speed. Always watch on double speed. Um, yeah, I'd love to know what you think of the purchases this month and um, uh, how often do you do no bites? Because is this how much you guys usually like this? I feel like this is too much. Am I overwhelmed? Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching to the end of this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, uh, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Why haven't you subscribed? <laughs> I have one of these every month. Um, so yeah, an existential crisis, that's what I'm talking about. I have one every month. <laughs> um, thanks so much for watching to the end. Take care guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye!